Hey, welcome back everybody. This one's gonna be a weird video and it's a little late too because this was filmed back in spring and it's almost fall right now as I'm trying to upload it. But I'm gonna show you how to fit this F by oil pan onto the iron block of my truck motor, pretty much junkyard motor. And they won't fit right away, but we're just gonna do a little few things and make it fit. I got my turbo drain welded onto the front uh, it's a dash 10 with a little extension. There's not really a good spot for the F by oil pan to have a turbo drain, but uh, that'll work. So here is the uh, windage tray. We just gotta trim the front because that's where it hits the F by oil pan. So if we trim that front side, it should fit pretty good. And I'll show you how to do that really quick. Right around that bolt area is right where you have to trim. So if you go back near the rear of the motor a little bit more, we'll have a little bit more clearance. And that's what I did here, just a little bit farther. And I'll do a little radius on the corners and then uh, trim it right across. I don't know why the audio skipped these tracks, which is really weird because some of these clips have audio, but these don't. I don't know. But here I am trimming it. Um, you can cut it with whatever you want. I should use the big uh, cutoff wheel, but I had this handy and it did the job. So, whatever it takes to cut it off, do a clean line and uh, make it look good. Also, after you deburr it up, um, get it nice and clean. You can probably take it to a parts washer afterwards, but I just brake cleaned it and wiped it down. It did the trick. Uh, you just don't want that grinding dust in there because uh, you don't want any metal shavings or or abrasive. It'd probably be pretty bad. So I almost got it all cleaned up here. We'll throw it on the motor and do a test fit. And now I have audio again. Yeah. Alright, let's throw it on. Like a charm. Let's bolt on the oil pickup tube and then the nuts that go on the windage tray and then we'll uh, bolt down her pan. Let me quick get these on and then I'll torque them down. Yeah, this is an M6 thread. Use a 20 millimeter um, length but you'll need to pick one of these up it's a uh, specific for the f-body you can't use your truck uh, pickup tube it's just play strong I did attempt to make one show you right here give little cuts um, I was gonna weld on to the other end but I just decided it was just too risky to weld it on there you have to snake it right around there and make sure it clears this but it's just a little bit too risky if you have a little pinhole um, you're not gonna get any oil feed so this is pretty much like junk you can attempt it and give it a try but really it's up to you because uh, if you have a pinhole your motor is gonna be junk Seems fine. Uh oh, wait a minute. We have a problem. I think we may need to make a little adjustment. I think I'm going to notch this windage tray. Just a little bit right where it's hitting. 
which is interesting because it's right about there. And then it's probably going to hit down here. So we'll have to notch out that. So I'll notch that and come right back. All right, here's where I lose audio again. Some clips have audio, some don't, which I don't know why that happened. But uh, I'm going to say I think I paid too much for the pan. And um, you can get them pretty cheap. I'd say look for a Savannah or a Chevy Express. They use the same pans as the F-bodies. Look up what this one looks like, like the F-body, and then look up a Savannah Express. You can find them pretty cheap on eBay. I recommend that. I paid a little bit too much for this. Um, it's just a small tip. But um, also the the front bolts near the balancer, the like the studs, you can trim those too before you torque your uh, crank down. It'll give you a little bit more clearance, but you don't really need to. It still clears the pan. So uh, that's about it. Um, there'll be a short part two of this. I know it took a long, long time to get this out, but uh, I finally got it out. There's more to come. So uh, yeah, come back sometime. Mm -hmm.